Hello, hello. Welcome to another. Oh. Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. Absolutely. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. Tiger Belly. <laughs> oh my God. Um. Seriously, let's do it again. I, my energy is like low. Five. Four. Hello. He- <laughs> Five, four, uh, three, three, two, two one. one. Welcome to another podcast. Absolutely. Tiger Belly Podcast. I can't do it. Um, it's not bad. Uh, Bobby, <laughs> uh, that's my name. We got Kalila, we got Gilbert, we got George, and our guest flew to New York. <laughs> <laughs> we had a guest, Taryn Killam, and he flew to New York because he has he's in a movie with Arnie Schwarzenegger. And he couldn't uh, didn't make it. Um, that made me really sad. But you know what? Fuck him. That's what I say. No. Why? He We're, said he's coming back. He do... is coming back. Okay. He'll never listen to this, though. He'll never, so. he'll never... Yeah, you're right. Uh, so yeah. let's talk about... So Friday, we did a live podcast downtown mm-hmm. for the LA Podfest. We followed mm-hmm. Bert Kreischer in a um, sold out a nine hundred seat v- mm. auditorium, and yeah. we had twenty people there. Oh, that's right, I remember now. Yeah, it was um, <laughs> a gigant- gigantic. Come on, twenty five space, <laughs> and then we're just <laughs> we we're just lost in it. But um, I thought it was okay. Yeah. That was the. What was your initial thoughts when you guys walked in and you saw the space? I was in shock. Mm. I was all of a sudden I just just dread overcame me. I couldn't believe we had to actually <laughs> perform in you know like th- that room was massive, massive, and the ceilings were so high and <laughs> just like yeah. like we were in fucking like Italy or something, <laughs> like Vatican. it was in a museum. Yeah. And I, I felt like they were a little indifferent, like the engineer and all those guys. No, they were so no, nice. No, 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 they were nice afterwards. Oh, beforehand they were like, all right, well, do sound check, this and that, right, and yeah. then. Well, they're, afterwards, they're afterwards, nervous. I know, but no, afterwards, like, you guys are really good. I saw them laughing. Yeah, yeah I wanted to say, yeah, man. What? I thought he was really nice <laughs> from the start. I no, think. I know. I they, 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 There was a little, I needed my dick sucked before. Yeah, they didn't do They, didn't they were do nice, that. but they they weren't sucking my dick. They're yeah. just trying to do their jobs. I need, that, I need people to be sucking my dick. Mm. Put in the rider. Because Saturday, I did a casino in um, Sacramento. Calusa. And as soon as I show up, people just start sucking my dick. Mm. Mm. Not literally, but like, can we get you something? What do you need? Are you okay? Mm. And I, I don't need that, but Papa loves it. <laughs> Papa loves <laughs> feeling not, wanted. It's not a necessary. Papa loves, like, and then I can play, like, we do weird shit. Mm. Like, I like it when, like, before the show, people come up to me and they go, can I get a photo? I go, afterwards, you know, if I have time. Yeah. Like, I like acting like I'm fucking... <laughs> Special, <laughs> yeah. Which I'm not. In my, I, I know I'm a piece of shit, but there were like moments where like, hey, can you just leave the room? I need a little quiet to be my, spe-. you know, like just, I pull like little power moves. Yeah. Dim the lights, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love doing that shit. You know. Yuck. What do you mean yuck? <laughs> you don't like that. And then there was a restaurant, the only restaurant in town. They were closed, and I go, can you make a call see if they'll keep open for us? Damn. And they go, we'll see. They called, we kept open, and we were there like hours late. Yuck. And they, the, the whole, shut the fuck up. The whole staff stayed. He does and, this I, a lot. and I purposely ate as long as I could. And this is, a, I have a problem <laughs> oh, with this. Have you ever, oh, go ahead. I sorry. Had, this is what I have a problem with what? because. <laughs> that was get, a special day for them, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was. Fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, you man. You think you're superior? Yeah. If we go to a restaurant and the line is extremely long yeah. and they don't make special concessions for him, they don't make, you know, they don't make. Um, okay, you're going to make me angry because I, that you're absolutely wrong what you're saying right now. If no one recognizes you at a restaurant and they treat you like everybody else, you always say, we got to go. Let's leave. <laughs> you're, 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 it upsets no, you. No, I don't. Yes, you absolutely do. True or false. Do. I, I always stay. Sweetie, we always have this Two hour, oh, Dim Song Young. What are the, what's that place? Ding Tai Fung? Ding Tai Fung. Yeah, but that's because... <laughs> yeah. Dim Song Young. Yeah. Yeah. That's because people around there were like taking pictures and they recognized you and so you, that made you happy. No, but that one time with my brother, we stood, we stood there for two hours and we waited. That's my point. My point is a year ago we did that. My point is I will wait, you know? And you're it. wrong what you're saying. Mm-mm. 
Yeah. I'm definitely not wrong. Yeah, yeah. I've I've lived with you long enough to know you. Yeah, you know what you do what when do people recognize you? What? You put your hoodie up and you try to. Ew, like, I don't hide do that. I have never done that. You try in to my hide, life. and then when they come and you act like like you have no idea what they're talking Are you kidding about. Me? Oh, you... do you do the paparazzi hand? Yeah, like she does that. She does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Podcast. But see how that feels. See how that feels when you lie. I, you lied and I just lied I just lied right just to make you feel you what lied. I was feeling but I, I'm not lying I am about not this. lying either you I'm not said, lying either like when fans come up you like you put your hoodie down and you act indifferent does that sound like me uh, probably it, not you know, no. Gilbert does it sound like her though no. maybe yeah maybe that's my point is is that when you lie I lie and if you're truthful lady I'm truthful. No, because this is what you said to me okay. on um, on the way to my sister's birthday. Yeah. It was you, me, and my friend Shandy in the car. Yeah. And you guys got into a very heated discussion about um, being treated um, differently by restaurant owners. And you specifically said they should be happy that I'm there for the sake of their that. business. I never said that. And then she quote. was like, no, they shouldn't. Yeah. You're just like every other patron. And you attacked her. Like, you guys were Well, debating. that one time you got pulled over by the cop and you cried and you go, I'm, in, I'm on a podcast. Like, you shouldn't be giving me a podcast. Why a are you ticket. lying? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that sounds just saying, definitely like Kalila. Lie, uh, that sounds like Kalila. Yeah. <laughs> when you lie, I lie. Kalila, I definitely right? I do fight that. lie with lie, my friend. And don't fuck around. All right? Yeah. So none of that's true. And whatever I'm yeah. saying is not true. But if you keep lying, I'm gonna lie Yo, too. We did have a meeting at a coffee place. There were no seats, and Kalala yelled, "I'm on fucking Tiger Belly." And there it, it, we it, it go. And lying. you know what? So Are you lying? Because that's exactly <laughs> what Kalila does. That's what Kalila does. That's what Kalila does. Yeah. So. Imagine if I was that way. You Wait. are that way. What do you mean, imagine? <laughs> Just record yourself, bitch. You fucking skanky lying you whore. Hate people. Oh God. God, I, I would never act like that. Well, yeah, you I do. Would but never. anyway, let's let's move on. And I know that. I've never also been pulled over in my life. Yeah, you have. Let's move on. But see what I mean? Don't no, lie. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't lie. Bobby, what? Don't, what why are you lying? lying? What are you doing right now? Okay, here. Lying. We're going to roll back to a few episodes ago where he admits to being a pathological liar. <laughs> That's fine. You don't have to roll back. People can just listen to it. But also everyone listening right now knows that this slump king, right? I live in a deceptive smog or cloud. Oh, that's new. Okay. Right? And you don't know what's in it. And that's what people love, the mystery of it. Mm. I could be lying, not lying. You know what I mean? I left, right hook. You know, I'm not <laughs> there. I'm there. Left, right hook. Just listen to what I'm saying, right? I'm relevant, not relevant. I mean, all kinds of things are happening, right? And that's what the fucking fa And you kids listening know you know. So whatever this lady is saying, Kalila, is a lie. And I'm the truthful why one. Why is it that you don't want people to know to get to know the real you? Yeah, and why is it that you don't want people to get to know you, the real you? <laughs> Either <laughs> the fame loving you know I mean? Kalila, <laughs> like you're a cutter. I was a cutter. No, you're a cutter now. I'm no longer. A cutter. Yeah, you do. You cut Where? your vagina. <laughs> show, show him. Show Wait, him. Wait, what? Him. Yeah, see, what, that's what I'm saying. What's a vagina? That's also cutter, a very yeah. sensitive subject. I know. Yeah. Not cutting the vagina, but like just cutting in general. Not not for me, but for <laughs> others. You know, it listen, should be a joke. Listen, 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 guys. I'm a good guy. <laughs> okay, says the guy All saying right. it. <laughs> And let me, I wait, I wait He's at restaurants. Guy. I wait at restaurants. <laughs> yeah. Like normal guy. I don't complain. There's, right? Can I tell you this one story in Sacramento? We went to this sushi spot. And, and, then, I, and then after this lie story, I have a story too. <laughs> okay, you go. Okay, okay. go ahead. <laughs> this lie story. Yeah. I want to hear these stories. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we were at Sacramento. Yeah. And our, our server wasn't particularly, uh, she was very just neutral. She wasn't very nice. She wasn't very um, mean either. She was just very neutral. And he didn't like that. And so he, because he wasn't getting what he wanted, he was scoping around, looking at the restaurant, hoping that someone would recognize him. Yeah. So he was making himself very visible in the restaurant, hoping that someone would ask for a picture mm -hmm. and that the woman would then treat him better. Yeah. The server would then treat him better. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so he, it worked. Lies. Somebody came up and they're like, oh, Bobby, can we take a picture? And then he waited. He mm. waited about 10 seconds to take the before so that the woman would come around, the server would come around and vi and see <laughs> and visualize the fact that he was getting asked Auto to take a picture. Yeah. Uh-huh. And that's who, who, is who the captain is. is that, okay. I guess it worked. What's well, the lie? It worked. Well, listen to this queen. <laughs> this is good. This queen. All right, we're at a restaurant in Riverside. I've never... <laughs> We're at a restaurant. Yeah, Why are you at Riverside so much? We're at Riverside Cafe. <laughs> Riverside. <laughs> <laughs> Riverside. <laughs> okay. Yelp it. Yelp, we're at, it. We're at, we're, yelp it. Yeah, All right. it up. It's real. And I'm sitting there and some Mexican guy comes to me and goes, Hey, Duke, I'm a big fan, Bob. Can I get an autograph? 
and I, he set a pen down and a piece of paper and Coletta takes the paper and she just puts KK <laughs> on it, right? And he says, hey, bitch, right? <laughs> this is the only autograph that you fucking need. Damn. And handed it back to him. He started crying, right? Kalila. And you go, you fucking bean, beaner. Kalila. Why did you call him a beaner? <laughs> race, you did not have to bring race into this. Why did you bring race into it? He's just a normal guy. He was working there. What a fucking asshole it's you are. so Kalila. Call fucking a guy that beaner. Is, that's KK. At the Riverside Cafe. <laughs> At the Riverside Cafe. <laughs> right? KK. All right, so God. I'm just saying... Every time you lie, I'm going to lie. <laughs> okay? So that's the new rule of the show. Oh, man. So the thing went well Friday. I thought it the live taping. I did. I, I thought that yeah. you guys, I thought fun. we all did good, but I thought that um, that it was way better than we thought it was mm-hmm. going to be. And then, you know, Barry Katz showed up. So random. You know, I was really proud of us for, this is one thing that we did for sure, was we, you know, grow up and show up. And it, even though we had such a, you know, smaller crowd than, you know, the last live show we had, fucking Bobby really turned it on. Like, I've never mm-hmm. seen anyone turn it on before. It was like a fucking TED Talk. Got to do a TED Talk. We have to contact <laughs> them for real. You, you know why? You have to do TED Talk. You know why? Because I took two beta blockers. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, I, I swear to God. Yeah. More beta blockers, the better I am. Yeah. And I took two beta blockers, and I decided to do a TED Talk. But what was great is Barry Cat showed up. Who's Barry Katz? Explain. He is a manager, mm-hmm. and he used to manage Chappelle and all these people, and he just ended up showing up. I mean, he was just there. Mm-hmm. He had some other business across the street. He ran into Jessica, yeah. mm-hmm. and Jessica was like talking on the phone, and he mentioned my na- she mentioned my name, and then Barry walked up to her and goes, you know Bobby Lee? And she goes, yeah. She goes, he's doing up his podcast. You're at this podcast. And then he came in. Brooklyn in Brooklyn in. Brooklyn in Brooklyn in. It's my favorite sheet in the whole world, guys. <laughs> I'll be real. When I like soft shit, I guess clean soft shit. You know, I like restful sleeps, deep comas. You know, <laughs> and I, I do, I do. And I love Brooklyn is the best sheets I've ever had, guys. And you got you tell them about it, man. Fuck, baby. <laughs> oh, am I man? No, yeah. cock Gilbert. Oh, yeah. I can tell you about it. I yeah, sleep on it every guys, night. Sleep on it every As Bobby night. has previously stated in their um, other podcast, it's like sleeping on a cloud. It's like a little heaven pillow or a heaven sheet. Yeah. And um, I love it. It's uh, underpriced. Um, the designs are, um, is very like minimalist and clean, very comfy. I have both the satin finish and the classic. Yeah. And I love them both very, Let's very much. Let's just put much. it this way. If I was captured by ISIS yep. and they put me in a dungeon, mm-hmm. if they give me Brooklyn sheets... You'd I'm be, all. I'm I. Right. You'd be okay with it. <laughs> I'm I. Right. I'm a happy prisoner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bobby loves Brooklyn and sheets. Try these sheets, and I know you'll love them too. Brooklynand.com has an exclusive offer just for Tiger Belly listeners. Get twenty dollars off and free shipping when you use the promo code Belly at Brooklynand.com. Brooklyn Inn is so confident that you'll love their new sheets. They offer a risk-free sixty-night satisfaction guarantee and a lifetime warranty on all their sheets and comforters. There's no reason not to give these sheets a try. The only way to get $20 off and free shipping is to use the promo code BELLY at brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Promo code BELLY. Brooklinen, Brooklinen. Brooklinen. These are the best sheets ever. Brooklinen, Brooklinen. We're watching um, Blade Runner, who, by the way, is a masterpiece. Masterpiece. It's great. Blade it Runner is, 2049. Yeah, it's, it's totally exactly what i wanted which was in that world blade runner world it, it just every frame looked like a fucking painting yep the pacing was <clears throat> slow but really interesting patient and, kept, and patient the story was simple and yet it was just everything about it i loved okay the sound the sound oh, design sound design yeah Whew, and, she, and my perfect. girlfriend says i couldn't be a replicant because they couldn't get replicant eyes in my chinky slits <laughs> which is a fact don't say chinky slits, babe. I didn't say the. I I for the umpteenth time I didn't say the word chinky. I, I said swear slits. to God, you said. I swear to God, you said on my sobriety that you said chinky slits. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That you would. You are a pathological. And liar. don't call that guy a fucking a beaner. <laughs> okay. You have to stop cafe. bringing race into this. All right. 
But okay, you see how big? Okay, when 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 they get checked for um, your eyes got it. You got to open your eyes. When you're when they when they resign the replicants, right? Mm -hmm. When they turn them off, they take the eyeball out. Yeah, but that's how they you take it out. You know how it's made, bitch. I'm they just, made, they put the eyes in before, then they put the skin over the eyes. Yeah, it's just so like, they, they'll, they'll so sure. If I was a replicant, my skull would be normal, right? Mm -hmm. Then they would put the eyes in, mm -hmm. but then they would the the skin up over my replicant face would be chinky slits. Right, because yeah. it's just like like our eyeballs are actually a lot bigger than what exactly. We've seen. I get yeah, that like time. yeah. Look at my eyes right now. My eyes are just like your eyes, except the slits are fucking slitty. <laughs> the slits. Why aren't there any Asian replicants then? Because Hollywood's racist. But George, George has a theory. <laughs> What's his theory, George? What's your, what's your theory? What well, you had the theory actually? About the yes, colonies? Uh, no, well, you I, had the th racist theory. I just say, said the Asians were probably in the outer world. Why did you say that, Gilbert? Because they have money. And. You and implied superiority. No, you brought that up. You impl no. You said because they're smarter and they know how to travel and they have money and they can get there. Yeah. And I was like, because the world is very Asian, uh, right? Very yeah. Japanese. Yeah. Well, a lot of Chinese. neon. It looks like Tokyo. Yeah. You sort just of. But the future would the future be that. looks. Tokyo is the future. Yeah. So like, just right, the rest of the world starts looking like that. Mm -hmm. It's well, not racist to like borrow. You, but you, know, when I see a movie like that and I don't see Asians in it, I don't think that Hollywood's racist. I just try to make believe that we're in the movie. You just can't see us. Like, we're hiding. Mm. Mm. Like, when Transformers are fighting in the <laughs> middle of the street, you see a trash can, and there's a Cambodian family in there. Oh, they're just smart. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're smart, so they're adapted. hiding from, yeah. And every once in a while, you can't see it, but they peek their heads out, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they go, oh, Transformers, Transformers, yeah. and then go back down. They're you know? smart, because like, they're mm. a trash well, can. They're not a Mustang. You know? Yeah, yeah. it's only the white people that are like, what's going on? And they're like out and trying to like, <laughs> yeah, 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 resolve the problem, and then they die, Yeah, you know? Because you guys are dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're a fucking dumb. Y'all are dumb. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> I don't know. There's enough of us, you know. Just cause there, it, it, we it's, lose a few. Hollywood is weird in that way, but you know what? I can't complain because I'm working, so I always feel like <laughs> if I complain that they're going to take it away, but fuck it. it. They're a little racist. And when I see a movie like Blade Runner, I'd like to see more of my kind in it, but, you know, I, I feel like they're trying maybe. I don't know. I don't want to talk about that anymore, though. Yeah. About the injustices of us in Hollywood. I mean, it's tired. Mm. Right? Yeah. It's a tired topic. And there's nothing we can do about it. All we can do is represent and do the best we can. Right. Right, Gilbert? Mm hmm How's that going for you, Hollywood? <laughs> I think it's actually helped me that I'm Asian. Kind of. But you working? What are you going out? Are you going out a lot or no? Going out. Not as much going out, but developing a project. Oh, so, how's that going? Mm. Good? It's going good. Surprised of how well it's going. You got a deal? I, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Something may happen. <laughs> you're okay. you're in it. How am I in it? Well, we have to we'll contact. See. We have to contact yeah. CIA and see if you'll do it. No. Then never mind. <laughs> I'm not. Don't do it. I'm not gonna be in it. Because you want to tell me what what happened. What happened? What do you mean? What happened? No, it's just a show. So I'll, I can say that like it's a project. It's like uh, my version of Master None. Uh, but growing up in Georgia, meets uh, Jackie Chan's Rumble oh, in the I'd Bronx. Oh, I'd buy it right now, but you would. No. No, uh, it was good. I like it. When, yeah. I, I think I feel like once you're in something, it's gonna be great. Thanks. But um, you play the bad guy though. That's fine. Um, Harvey Weinstein. Oh, mm. Harvey oh my Weinstein God. is uh, in trouble. And what exactly did he do? Hmm. What he settled. Um, so they uh, the was it the New York Times? Yeah. Who, yeah. The Basically, over the years, between like a, an extended amount of time, he settled out of court for a lot of like sexual harassment um, cases, complaints. But what did he do? Um, a lot of things. Like you one of the things that, like, uh, he would ask girls to come to his hotel room. They think it's like a business meeting, and mm -hmm. then he'll just masturbate in front of them or tell them to come to the shower. And okay, like, all right. into a corner, and also like I think Ashley Judd, like mm -hmm. she, he made her like watch him shower. Um, this is in the '90s, so I think that she was like relatively, yeah. you know, like okay. a young actress then. Shame on you, Harvey Wine and Wine, Weinstein. Wine, wine. <laughs> you shouldn't use your power to get no ass. True. Yeah, but. I mean, there are just other ways to do it. <laughs> there are. <laughs> take, there are take other ways to get Go to River, Riverside Cafe. River, go on Riverside a date. Riverside Cafe. <laughs> go on a normal date. <laughs> it's like, um, yeah, it's wrong, I guess, yeah. You know why it's wrong? Because you, you're, there's also d dreams attached to it and people's hopes and dreams mm -hmm. and all that stuff is oh, attached no. to it. And it's like... 
it's a little it's a little it's it's wrong to do that <laughs> but do, do you know do i understand where harvey weinstein is coming from or what his as a male i mean there's a one percent of my mind that goes i kind of get why you would act in a horrible way like that like i do with ted bundy mm. <laughs> He's just digging himself. <laughs> I just, I just Damn, dig myself. I'm digging already. myself. <laughs> fu- no, I gotta try to dig myself out of this hole, guys. Okay, All right. okay try again. Try Let me try again. to dig myself way out of this fucking okay, hole. Yeah. All right, Harvey Weinstein. What he did was um, borderline. It is illegal. It's wrong, and he should be. He should face consequences. Good. Number one, get fired from his company. He already that got he, fired. He did. He got that he built from the ground up, spent 40 fucking years mm. with his own hands building. Yeah, but he probably fired himself. Just and here's another thing is, is that um, if I was in a position of power and I had money and I didn't meet my beautiful girlfriend, Kalila, my life partner and my, mm. forever, my forever person, but just hypothetically, I would just go, all right, I have millions and millions and millions of dollars. Then I would just kind of like, I would just get a hooker. There are a lot of types of people that, it's easy to just get hookers because they have all the money in the world, but there are a lot of types of people who like a good challenge, but who cannot take no for an answer. Uh-huh. And it really, really just punches them straight into their ego, you know? And um, so, yeah, I think that it's easier, you know, when you're so powerful and you have a lot of money, maybe things come so easy that you want something to be a little bit more difficult. And... I, I proposed I Sandy Danto. He's a he opened for me this Saturday, mm-hmm. and we were talking about we were talking about Harvey Weinstein, but it got in this weird conversation about like if we were in a coma. Like I said, if I go if you were in a coma, Sandy, and I snuck into the hospital, and I fucked you in the ass. Right, I know just Sandy's face. Just yeah, yeah. I fucked, I, I, when yeah, he looks, yeah, yeah, yeah. who this I guy fucked, he's talking about? I fucked him in the ass, right? But I wore a condom, right? Mm-hmm. And then I let a year pass, so whatever, if there was any wounds, it healed. And then, so he woke up, he has no diseases, nothing mm-hmm. happened, right? And then, you know, he's, you know, he's at a coffee bean or whatever, I run into him. And I go, hey, just to let you know, like a year ago, I just snuck into the hospital. And I fucked you in the ass, but you know, you wouldn't have known that. I, you know, I, you, the only way, way you would know is because I'm telling you right now. I said, would you be mad? And you know what he said? No, that's a friend. <laughs> that's a friend of FYI and can I just say this right now can I say this yeah. if I'm in a coma yeah and I'm talking about George and 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 Gilbert yeah mm-hmm. and you fucked me in the ass <laughs> Not just listen that. I know I'm just saying with a condom <laughs> all right I woke up a year later I didn't know anything about it I have no diseases nothing don't share it with me just move on oh you'd rather not know I, even if you did know if even if I did I would be uh that's weird but I'm not going to press charges, mm-hmm. but I, you know, I would just probably be mad at you, you two because of the power thing of our relationship. Yeah. <laughs> me, yeah right, right. Just tag team. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, let's yeah. prank him. He's in a coma. But what I'm going to say that is, <laughs> but let me say this. If I wake up, right. And the doctor goes, you have an infection in your butthole because you have one year old cum that's in your butthole, which caused an infection because you didn't protect yourself and you came inside me. We would have a very big problem. Okay. Yeah. What? Well, Is that obviously. A thing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just I'm just saying in this <laughs> hypothetical world like a slow burn STD, yeah. like syphilis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't do that. Okay. No. No. Interesting. Do you have you guys seen the um <laughs> <We're> <laughs> just the idea doing... of George like just <laughs> creeping in a hospital? Yeah, yeah. Somebody gets <laughs> I mean, so much for my plans when you get into coma. I know. Uh... I guess I, won't, I can't do that anymore. So you're saying that what you don't know won't hurt you. Yeah, it does. Also, if I'm in a coma and nothing happened, okay, so you right? Guys, then what, what? What the fuck do I care? I have to. You guys have to watch the movie "Talk to Her." It's by What's Pedro that? Almodovar. It's about exactly what you're talking about. A girl in a coma. She's abducted. She doesn't. She. But um, an, her nurse, who's a male nurse, starts to really like take to her and fall in love with her. I'll leave it there, but no, no, um, no! Don't who, leave it there. Who plays no, I'm, you guys I'm watch hard right now. Who plays the, the male nurse? <laughs> what? Who plays, who plays the, the male, male nurse? nurse? Yeah. 
What do you mean? Bardem? Like, what's no, no, like? no. I don't actually don't know who. Was his, he good like, looking? The uh, he was like, uh, okay, yeah, he was cute, I guess. Yeah, well, he's Cute-ish. an actor, so he's no, no, a no. But he wasn't actor. like a, a brooding. Th- he wasn't like yeah, but he's of... still not ugly. You know, he's what okay. Like, it I wasn't wouldn't. Wasn't due to uh, married Meg Ryan, was it? Uh, what's his name? Who? Dennis Quaid? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. Who married Meg Ryan? No, no, no. Not it's Dennis a. Quaid. I don't remember who this um, Spanish actor is, but it's a. It's a really good movie. You guys should watch it. It's called Talk to Her. Okay, let, let me give you another scenario, Gilbert. Okay. Okay. You're in a coma. I'm in a coma, yeah. Right. And somebody injected something in your penis. Okay. It, will give, it, gives, it gives you an erection. You're okay. about to fuck me, Archie. Right, this is where this is going. What? No, you're going to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. No, but if, let me just say this, right? <laughs> so you're in a coma, right? Got it. Someone injects something in your penis so you can get a hard on. Sure. Right? More blood. And yeah. then, like, um, Natalie Portman. Okay. Came in and rid you. You know what I mean? She, you know what I mean? She she had sex with you. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then she, then she leaves. A year later, you wake up, but she has a baby by you. Would you be mad? This is interesting. I don't know. I want to say yeah. You violated me, but would you be mad, Natalie Portman? Be real. Is, be real. If I'm being honest, yeah, I was raped, so I would be upset at that. But hey, man. Now would you press charges? Mm-hmm. Yes. You would? Yeah, because she has money. <laughs> no, but she's like, it's our baby. Let's raise it together. That's fine, but also you owe me money for fucking me. You're very rich, man. No, you, you're going to get married. You're going to have some of her money. Oh, so we're getting married now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Al- 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 Alimony, California. Come on. Yeah. Okay, then I'm fine. This seems uh, okay, good. Okay, but now if it's, No, okay, see, this is what I need. Now, same thing. Kathy Bates. Okay. She did the same thing. That's fine. She's a comedic genius. She is a genius. A I would genius. gladly have her. Go child. ahead. Also, she has money too. Right. Notice the trend. There's money involved. Right. <laughs> Jenna. I'd be upset. <laughs> <laughs> Notice the trend. There's no money there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I think I'd be madder the more attractive the woman is, because like the less attractive I'd like feel like okay, I'm the the coma dude's the only chance for her. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah. like, I feel pity. You know, Wait, like that's or, okay maybe, but. The worst, Natalie Portman would be yeah. like, this bitch is crazy. I yeah, would, I'd be why? like, she's crazy. For I, no, the worst would be this is if like, okay, so you're in a coma. Natalie Portman comes in. She fucks you, right? You wake up a year later, right? And she tells you she did it. And you go, okay, cool. Can we do it again? She's like, no. You can never fuck me <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I wasn't even able to even experience, experience her doing it. it. She yeah. just had a fetish it, for yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, That would be the worst. Yeah, she had a Then I would fetish. press car charges. I would press yeah, charges yeah. then. Oh, once you had that yeah. information. Fuck me now while I'm conscious or I'm going to press charges. Yeah, and but what if she's, what if she's like... <laughs> Such a weird... <laughs> Can we get her as okay. a guest, please? Yeah. Yeah. What if she's like, but you had to keep your eyes closed and not move? I don't care. I, I, I'm going to feel it. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're role playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's that. That's, that's we, interesting. That's, a, that's interesting. A interesting, it's interesting scenario. Interesting yeah. scenario. I'm trying to think how I would feel if it was like Brad Pitt or like, you know, one of my top fives. Uh, Jon Snow. Can oh my god! Yes, yeah, okay. You're in a coma, babe. He's, right? He's wearing the full uh, Game of Thrones outfit. I want to say the right thing. <laughs> right, right. I want to say that it's wrong, but honestly, like. So you're in a coma, yeah. and then a year later you wake up, and he comes up to you, and goes, Kit Harrington goes, mm-hmm. I snuck in and I had sex with you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> really? Thank you so much. Really? And then now deal with all the female groups being like, whoa, what are you doing? Honestly, like that that is a really good question because I you know me, like I'm so sensitive about like rape and all that right. stuff. Right. But I fantasize over that guy so much that I take him in any way I that I can. Even if it means that I never got to like enjoy it awake. But now I'm pregnant. Yeah. It's so fucked up to say, but I no. think I would be okay would it? with it. Yeah, I think you actually would be okay. Now, I, and let me ask you this not, now that's not Kit Harrington because I feel like it's I've, that, okay, guy that, no, no. that guy that does the camera I know that's, why it's okay <laughs> it's Bryce not Bryce the other one oh, uh, the thin lipped one James is that his name can I explain first Jason. why I would be okay Jason, with it yeah why I want, I want to explain why I would be okay with it I would be okay with it because in my mind today alive and awake I've already given him permission to do whatever he wants oh. to my body so the permission is already there now if it was somebody I didn't know and the, like, there was no I, permission uh, yeah, I give him permission in my dreams all, all right. day, every okay, day. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. I like that. Yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask another question then. Okay. <laughs> Follow up. All right. So, it was. George. It was not Kit Harrington. Right? <laughs> it was George. I'll but lie no, to you. It wasn't Kit Harrington. Yeah. But it was a guy. When you were in a coma, mm-hmm. just hear me out. Mm-hmm. When you were in a coma, 
another HBO show came out, right? And it was a hit. Mm -hmm. Better than Game of Thrones. Yeah. And the lead in that movie show, you don't know who he is. Yeah. But he's way better than Kit Harington. Okay. Better looking and nicer. Yeah. He did it. So it's like this guy that you didn't give permission to. But he's to, big. But he's huge and he's that good looking and all that. No, I don't think you, that I would be okay with it right? because I have no connection. Yeah, I have no connection. But what if after okay, it. then what what would happen if you <laughs> what would just shut up what would happen is you press charges and then you start watching the show and you go, Oh fuck, I do like him. That's what I'm saying. Like what I <laughs> I might change the way I feel over time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, also, I think that I would just feel like ultra violated because yeah. I never, I've never dreamt about him. Yeah, I've never. Yeah, that's just another human body, another human stranger body entering me. I think the point of this right now, this There's line no, of thing, is just no, don't do any of that. When somebody's in a coma, don't leave them alone. Leave them alone until yeah, they awake. Help Please, them. Do not impregnate them. Yeah. What is wrong with us? That was funny. It was a funny. <laughs> You don't think about stuff like that laying in bed? I no, do. no, no. I think that it's a good, like, you know, fucking, that's you a, know, to question a, your own ethics. It's a thick, yeah, it's a thinker. Because when you said Ashley Jet, I was like, fuck. We're going to take a moment to uh, plug our sponsor today. Okay, good. Cool, cool. You know what, man? It's like, I get paranoid. I used to get paranoid. Like, if we run, like, because Bryce was our cameraman. Yeah. He disappeared. <laughs> we had Thin Lip, Thin Lip, what's his name? Jason. Jason, Jason Thin Lips. Mm. But you know what? I don't even worry if we can't find a cameraman. Do you know why? Why? We got ZipRecruiter. Oh. What's ZipRecruiter, Bobby? ZipRecruiter is if you want to hire somebody, right, you go to the site. But you're short on time. You're short on time, mm -hmm. right? And they, they do all the like stuff for you. We tell them about it. <laughs> the whole, basically, all that stuff you're talking about <laughs> yeah. is putting all those different types of candidates for those jobs. In this case, would be the B camera. Uh, and they gave us a giant list and you can choose the best person. And they match you directly very, very well with somebody, with a person that you need specific to those qualifications. Yeah, it really is. Um, I can't believe there's not other, there's not other companies that do this. So if George were to leave us, we would just go to ZipRecruiter and find another George. You would have to have blonde hair, mm -hmm. yeah, look yeah. sort of like this guy, wear all white. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Yeah. And that's what we would use ZipRecruiter for. Yeah. Efficient. Boom. We'd find another you, George. Basically, we're saying you're fired right now. <laughs> and we're using what? ZipRecruiter oh, no, to no, find no, no, a no. new person. <laughs> no, but really, ZipRecruiter is the shit. You guys got to check it out. Yeah. Okay. Fi find out today why ZipRecruiter has been used by growing businesses. ZipRecruiter, ZipRecruiter. Of all sizes and industries <laughs> to find the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. ZipRecruiter, ZipRecruiter. <laughs> and right now, my li our listeners can post jobs on ZipRecruiter for free. ZipRecruiter. <laughs> That's right, free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash belly. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash belly. One more time to try to get it for free, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash belly. Yeah, we're back. Love Zip Recruiter. <laughs> Zip re re Recruiter. Recruiter. I love it. Um, what do you guys think? Did you guys hear that story with the Dutch inventor with a submarine? Or am I the only one? You're the only you're one. You're probably the only person. Tell me what happened. It's a big story. There's a Dutch inventor <laughs> and oh he's an gosh, inventor. Oh my lying again. <laughs> it just sounds like a lie again. It's not a lie, you Wait, guys. Okay, got it. So Dutch inventor. There's a Dutch inventor. He's an inventor. After this, I have a story about an Egyptian clog maker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It makes clogs. All right, clog. All right, so go go first. <laughs> Call the sundial. Yeah. It just sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, it does yeah, sound weird. weird. I don't even want to tell the story because there's no point to it. I want to know. I'm intrigued now. What is it? A Mediterranean windsurfer. <laughs> Why about? did he make why did he <laughs> yeah. make submarines? Yeah. This, yeah. Dutch guy. this Dutch submarine maker, what happened? This Dutch inventor has invented multiple types of submarines. Uh -huh. And I'm not sure if he invited a journalist to come on board with him or if he was asked, you know, to have you know anyways. I don't know the circumstances behind that. But there was a female journalist by the name of Kim Hall who goes into this homemade submarine. Um, and then while they're there, the submarine allegedly sinks. He's alive. Wait, she's how does dead. a submarine sink? Is Not it sink. I mean, um, like well, I don't know how. It's a uh, something faulty, and then you know, something happened. Okay. Because a submarine something can also easy. it really come on sounds top. like you're making it up, really. <laughs> no, because yeah, a submarine is also doesn't always have to and be underwater with a flew. periscope. <laughs> yeah, it flew. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. besides so yeah, so the point. Okay. So there was some. Um, 
accident in the ocean or in you know some yeah. body of water he's alive he survives the accident she doesn't he tells police that you know she doesn't make it the police don't buy it so they launch an investigation her remains wash up on shore and they realized that not only was she dismembered, she was decapitated, but she had eight stab wounds in her body. He, and okay. when they looked at his hard drive that was retrieved, they had a, they had a lot of like torture videos of like torturing women and killing them and like sexual like fetishizing the torture and stuff like that. But this is a real story I'm telling you. It's no all way. over the news right now. If I, okay, I'm going to just say this right now. She's arrested though. No, stop, stop. Uh, all yeah, all yeah. over the news, this lady says. Yes. I'm going to Google news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, right now, I, I, I doubt what you said. Read the Why top five. I'm, 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 no, I'm going to just Google news and I'm going to see what the top 10 is, okay? Read the top 10. All I right, wonder right. is that he's a, such a great inventor. How can he like invent some heavier weights? Yeah. Okay, so that's another thing. He actually put metal inside Here we go. her body Here we go. to try to sink the body. Here we go. Yeah, but it's still surfaced anyway. Here's the top news right here Fast moving wildfires kill 10. In Anaheim? Yes. Wow. George wow. Clooney reacts to Harvey Weinstein. Wow, okay. <laughs> Texas Tech student in custody after a campus police officer is fatally shot. Sad. News is all the, downers. The these odd days. bedfellows fighting for Catlin independence. North Korea hacked. There's no fucking submarine in any of this fucking, you lying bastard. Fine, I made it up. I swear to God, look. I'm going page after page. There is no fucking submarine, no Denmark, nothing. It's all over the news. It is all because oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna Google Denmark Sun Marine, and if <laughs> nothing comes up, <laughs> if I sort of got, if nothing comes up with Denmark Holland. Sun Marine, that's it. We're t we're stopping this fucking podcast. But he's Denmark. It's not Denmark. Yeah, isn't it Netherlands? Yeah, is it Netherlands? Yeah, yes. Dutch. Oh, du okay. It's Dutch and Danish, right? All right, yeah. mm. Danish Sun Marine. Danish. No, he's Dutch. <laughs> oh, Dutch. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, Dutch. Fuck it, submarine. Oh, submarine. Man. Okay, here we go. Here it is. <laughs> Walrus class submarine, Wikipedia. Oh my god. A list of submarines of the Netherlands. <laughs> what are we looking at? Russian warships drive away Dutch submarine tailing fleet in the Mediterranean. Russia ships chase away Dutch submarine in Mediterranean. That's what's in the news when it comes to that. Dutch submarine. No, she's not blonde. That's why Fox isn't covering it. Oh, she's a redhead. Yeah, Tim Fox Hollis. only covers like uh, dead blondes. Oh, really? No, that's mm. not. A, that's just what I've noticed. You, like, you, you know, like if, look, 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 Dutch submarine. What, what happened? Nothing. If you're a hot blonde, Fox look, News New York, loves it. New York, everything. The Independent, New York Times, NPR. What would I put? Google. Oh my god! You got to Google three words. That's the difficulty. What? It, what is it? Dutch submarine. Dutch submarine, Dutch submarine murder. murder. A murder. Yeah, it's on here. T R O. Why? Why TRL do I reported. have? Why does he need to verify my story? Because <laughs> he's a journalist. Anyways, okay. R I P Kim Hall. It's not all over the news. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that, that, all that's not all over the news, and that's that's why I did all that. What I'm saying is, this guy was trying was was attempting to be crafty he had put he had attached metal into her torso to try and sink her body mm, and he had uh, done he had gone ooh, through certain dark. and not only that the stab wounds were saying they weren't that's not how he killed her it was to deflate her lungs and so that no air would get trapped so her body wouldn't surface whoa hmm. crazy this guy's fucking sick that's a lot of weird thoughts going yeah on. like imagine the the amount of planning and you know the type of knowledge to kind of you know Anyways, I thought you'd probably. Well, I have a. Can I tell you about the cl Egyptian clock maker? Yeah, I've been, I've been waiting for this one. I'd love to hear this story. Well, about a week ago, an Egyptian clock maker. <laughs> we sure he was Egyptian? He was for okay. sure. Yeah, right. Um, he has a little clock shop, right? Mm -hmm. And in Cairo. Oh, that's how nice, I you know. Nice. I'm not, that's how you. Can you, know you name I'm... one other city in Egypt? <laughs> no, because I don't know because I read this story. It said and Cairo. It said Cairo. <laughs> in capital, it's Cairo. <laughs> All right. And um, he's in Mesopotamia. <laughs> he, it, it, he 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 hand makes these clogs, and um, a lot of people were buying these these clogs, yeah, and wearing yeah. a very comfortable shoes, very soft. And um, he would people would walk on them, and they would hear it would squish, and juice would come out. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, would, juice from where? Like that, from the clog, oh. from the shoe. It was wet. There was some. There was like a material in the in there mm -hmm. that was like wet. Interesting. You know when you. Yeah, when yeah. you stood on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
turns out they're fallopian tubes what? for women. <laughs> wow, they're made. Right. Clogs are made out of fallopian tubes. Yeah, he killed all killed of these women. like school kids. Oh my no, god. god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Cairo. <laughs> In Cairo. <laughs> And he makes these clogs with these Is this all over tubes. the news? It's all over the news. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm curious if I type in Cairo. You clog. probably get more information than this fucking <laughs> Dutch submarine bullshit. All right? God, you guys. No, but sweetie, don't lie. I mean, you think that I just like dig for obscure stories? This was a real story. Why? What would you even... Uh, Oh, guys. You just, listen, you just All you read is American news. That's your problem. Yeah, the important shit like nuclear war <laughs> and stuff like that, you True. know. But um, what a weird podcast this was. Uh, We're not even close to being done yet, so you better come up with some shit to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us about that other kind of... <laughs> other, yeah, yeah, other. You mean the, med- <laughs> the Mediterranean I, I, on cheese maker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Mediterranean cheese, cheese maker. maker. Oh, hold on, yeah. Yeah. Gilbert, crazy. let's not help It wasn't out. cheese. Let's not... <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. It's full of it. <laughs> We're not going to help him out with topics, guys. We're going to stay quiet until he, that's Bobby the comes qu- that's out. That's the question, too. It's like, am, why can't you guys come up with shit? I just tried to talk about a fucking... <laughs> Some random fucking Dutch submarine bullshit? Because I was in my mind at the time. <laughs> I on. mean, that's like a stretch. A stretch. <laughs> I'm going to sit here. We're going to sit here quietly, and you come up with the next topic. Yeah, I could, I could talk about all kinds of shit He's right now. Ted okay, talk. come on. He's TED Talks. I, I got TED Talks galore, bro. He is bro. TED. He is the TED of talks. But <laughs> he is Teddy Talk. <laughs> um, I want to talk about um, the kind of guests we want on this podcast. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Who should we get? Oh God, uh, we're not going to talk about that. Well, then well, that I was saying, I was saying, your dream. What would be like the ultimate guest in your house? Like that you were like. That's well, I want Obama, with. like uh, Mark Maron, God. Yeah. Damn, that'd be insane. If Trump wanted to do it, would we do it? We'd have to, right? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I think that I would have a lot of great like questions for him. Yeah. And do- I don't think he's one of those guys that I don't like revere or have too much respect for. So I feel like I could probably just ask him. But if it was Obama, I would be tongue tied. Like, this guy's so smart. I He could combat me at everything and all things. Yeah. But I feel like Trump is like kind of bossic. So mm-hmm. I feel like I could really, you know, I would feel free to ask him. He just looks like he had. He would have a penis that you could really see the veins. <laughs> oh, stressed out. Angry. No, like he just has a, this pink penis uh-huh. and just dark veins that you can see that's just kind of ch- protruding out like of it. Like varicose. Yeah. Oh, like, like in your feet. A varicose dick. I would. I would go pull out your dick. Then I feel would... like he would be happy to. No, he wouldn't, because then it would reveal the size. <laughs> <laughs> You guys. So tune in for the Trump episode <laughs> where Bobby just straight up asked the president, pull out your dick. He's well, been on Howard Stern a lot, so this, I'm, this is, I'm uh, sure yeah. Howard would have asked him <laughs> this. I don't know. No, but it's different to have yeah. him in the, you know, as the commander in chief, mm. right? Look, okay, possibly. Yeah, that's what Howard, like, this, Howard, this, when this, he started to run, Howard, like, kept cool. on, like, complaining, like, talk about I, want the, <laughs> I want the fun Trump back when he would like, talk about, like, yeah. how hot his daughter was. Yeah. You know? oh <laughs> Let's talk about comas. <laughs> I have, I have a genuine question for you. Yeah. Are um, you struggling to find another topic to talk about? I just because of we did one Friday the live it just I just feel burnt about it really to be honest with you. I okay so we have to talk about this and we can be open with our audience. Mm, yeah. yeah. Um, Gilbert and I generally come prepared with basic like five points yeah. to talk about right. Yeah. So when when I hear you slipping or I feel like you're about to go quiet and you have nothing, I throw those in right. Yeah. Um. Why why don't you do that? He's a freestyler. You just like to. Well, I mean, you also understand that I've done, I've done, three, four hundred radio stations. Mm-hmm. I've done every podcast that that's out there. Yeah. You know, I. So I do stand up. So I just. There's just a lot of talking. It's a lot of to remember to what you've already said. Yeah. What you so already yeah. Said. So I mean, if you were to say to me right now, mm-hmm. if I had never done a podcast before, how long I could go? I could probably go for ten hours. Mm-hmm. I'm not yeah, kidding. Yeah. 
I have so many, but I've done so many podcasts. Yeah. We've done over a hundred of these. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. That it's like, it's hard. So you can, you know, question my laziness or my untalent and all that no, stuff. No, my but God, you like, run the show. I'm, That's it's, not what I'm saying. I'm just telling you right now that we just did one Friday that was like a long one. It's a long TED Talk. I traveled mm-hmm. to Sacramento, came back. I'm a little burnt. And I'm sorry. Okay, but, well then I'll, I, I mean, will. We, I thought the coma thing was good. <laughs> I did. I thought the Cairo, Cairo, the Egyptian? yeah, Egyptian Cairo thing was good. We didn't even get into the Medi- Mediterranean, Mediterranean cheese maker, <laughs> right? I thought the stuff about you lying and then me lying was good. It was. All that stuff was good, and a lot of times the Trump thing, you know, the, you know, we can meander, and it could be just. I think people want to just hear us talk. Okay, so you know, but I don't understand your fucking attitude right now. No, because of we challenging me. We it infuriates me. I'm not tr- <laughs> it infuriates me. I was that it. a challenge? You know, take out your dick. I have a diff. I'm gonna challenge you some more because someone wrote this question and I feel like I need to get an honest answer from you. Okay, I'm not intentionally trying to kick up dirt. Mm. I just want a real. If it's, answer I'm gonna, I'm you. not gonna answer it if it's the AA shit. No, no, no. Okay, dear Tiger Belly Squad, I listened to the first part of the Stevie Weeby show with David Cho. First off, David takes over the podcast. He is a bit pompous, I must say. We might edit that. Anyway, I don't like how he paints Bobby. I think Bobby and his Tiger Belly team need to take a stand and fire back. Show Bobby some loyalty and back him up. He had to work the weekend of Steve's birthday party. He has done plenty of great things for Steve, the podcast, introducing him to people in the industry, including Cho himself. Team Slep King. Well, so what yes. did he say? Yeah, I don't know. I think that he was. Uh, I, I honestly, I didn't watch it, but we've gotten several emails about the same exact thing, saying that, um, that, I don't know. Like a George, you you edited it, so I'm not. What? I, you, what, well, yeah, what? What was it? That um, you're a bad brother for not being at his birthday party because you were working in New Mexico. Okay, is that it? Yeah, I think that was generally it. Okay, I, like, I, I'm going to say this to David. <laughs> okay, David, I love David. I think he is a su- super talented guy, um, and he I consider him a brother, okay? But m- my brother Steve, you know, I'm sorry, but I, it, he's not just my brother, he's my child. I've had to carry him like he was my offspring, okay? Um, there was a time I mean, for fucking 40 years, man, it's like paying his thing, getting him, giving him money, you know, he had medical problems, his tooth, this and that. And I've done everything I can to take care of my brother. And if David thinks that me not showing up to my brother's birthday when I had to work is wrong, then that's that. But I think he was just, he's just stirring yeah. something that's just bullshit. You know, he doesn't really believe that. He knows I'm as good of a brother to my brother than he is to his brothers, mm-hmm. you know? So, um, yeah, I think it's just somebody's trying to stir some shit. Yeah. Dave and I, Dave and I, when we see each other, it's, you know, he came to my birthday party and my dinner mm. and he, I literally, when he, I see him, he's like family to me. So and there's um, also nothing that he would say that he wouldn't tell to your face. I feel like he 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 says these things to you to kind of tease you, to tease Steve, and to try to get a rise in conversation out of it. I don't think there's like bad intention behind it at all. He's just trying to stir up a conversation, yeah, and, and to see if Steve if it gets something or a rise. The out of The only Steve. guy I have ever had a problem with with DVDSA and that whole crew is um, Asa's driver. What's his name? Oh, Bill Poon. Bill Poon. <laughs> that fucking guy I've had a problem with. Really? Yeah, he wrote an article how, like, my star is declining. Oh, you told me I did a bunch it. of stoner yeah. movies in the 90s, and I'm, like, now nothing and whatnot. And when he wrote that article, he was... A Who did he write the article it, it's for? It's not an article. It's, like, on his blog. His blog. So not, it wasn't not a New York, published not article. New York Times? No, not New York Times. Oh, not no, New York no. Times. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, but... He did a blog about it, and I'm like, what? what Were the... you ever mean to him or something? No, I, don't, like, I, don't, I don't know, but, you know. Did he think all... he was being funny at this vlog? No, I think Maybe. he was. No, I think he, there, I think there is, there was something that he was feeling toward me that that was like, I challenged him in, in a certain way, you know. But, 
I didn't I didn't like it. He's, he has every right to do that blog. That was also four years ago. Ever since then, he's been really sweet with you and sweet with me. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying this right now. I don't forget. <laughs> You're like an elephant. I really don't. I, there, the, I know stories from way back, and people go, you remember that? I go, yeah. I always remember revenge. Oh, for revenge, yeah. I always remember like, and it's not a good quality of mine, uh, uh, you know, but it's like if somebody slights me, I smile, and they might forget about it, but I have a little chest in my fucking heart, and it their names are in there. I have a list of names in my heart. You're like Arya. Yeah, mm-hmm. I do. I have a Holy list. Shit, yeah, I have man. a list, yeah. and I don't take revenge in the in in the classic sense of like I go out of my way to get revenge on them or to hurt them. I either do it through success, you know, or I do it because God just reveals revenge. There are just there's certain things that God does on my behalf. To, to And I don't lash out. I'll give you an example. Mm-hmm. There was an agent when I first moved to L.A. who said that I was never going to make it. Okay? I could say his name, but I don't want to. And then years later... I helped one of his clients get on something that I was doing and he was there at you know this taping of the show and I turned around and there he is the agent and I could have went I want I'm not going to make it yeah right but instead Shab. I know but instead I gave him a hug hey good to see you dude but he knows yeah and the way I'm acting like being above it right we made that's my revenge Mm. He fucking knows, right? So you don't do it like in an aggressive manner. You just go, you know, I proved you wrong. Yeah. You know, and that's and that's what I mean by revenge, you know. I think being successful is the best revenge. Yeah. You know, and being too and staying above the fray, like just being too. Like that Ching Chong Wally Wong. Oh, fuck this guy. <laughs> fuck you knew Wally Wong? Yeah, yes, I mean, we have talked I talked about, about Wally Wong a lot. Yeah. Oh, this Ching Chong. But what do you, what story though? About you know, I told you about the th- why he doesn't like me. I don't remember. I yeah, yeah, I, like I did. I, I was on a show called Make Me Laugh. Yeah. Oh. I was living in San Diego. This is in 1996, right? I was. I got my first TV show, Make Me Laugh. It was on Comedy Central. I did one of his jokes on it because I had no material. I was an open micer. How old were you? I was. 24 mm-hmm. okay unethical I uh, very unethical but I was living in San Diego when I did the show in LA I drove back to San Diego and I told him like, I stole this joke from you and you apologize you didn't, apologize. Do, it, you didn't do it on purpose you did it because you panicked correct I did it because I didn't know what else to do or you know you, it was like you didn't like th- it was it also, let me just, uh, FYI the, the, the bit was hacky as it is and I would never do it now Right? I told this guy, and then he just never, he just responded in like a really like negative way, and he, he told people that I was a thief, right? And, and, I, and here's what really aggravated me, was I was living, when I first moved to LA, I was living with this girl named Shema Tosh. She, she's, she's a very good comic, she's an impressionist, she's Care Top's opener. She mm-hmm. lives in Vegas. And, you know, I moved out of Shama's house. I getting started getting successful, and then one day I was in her car, and she goes, um, "Oh, you can't believe this letter Wally Wong wrote me." This is years later, mm-hmm. and I go, "What is it?" And she goes, "He wrote, hey, if you can help me get some shows in L.A., this and that, you know, what I mean, that'd be cool." But I refuse to work with Bobby Lee Ooh. in the letter. This is this is after like, why would I fucking want to work with you? Yeah, <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> You know, and like, so I have, he's in my fucking box forever. That's oh, fucking damn. piece of shit. Hmm. What? But it wasn't completely unwarranted. Like he, he obviously. It did- is unwarranted. I'll tell you why. It is unwarranted. I'll tell you why. The other night I was at the comedy store and this guy comes up to me and goes, dude, this Asian comedian just did one of your jokes. I go, how long has he been doing it? Oh, he's new. I'm fine. Yeah. You know, I went to an open mic. Yeah. Um. And somebody basically did your entire act. Recently? Uh, probably two years ago. What? Yeah. yeah. I was at Flappers and a, a kid did almost an entire, all like back to back too. Like I know the sequence of Bobby's mm-hmm. jokes so yeah. well. 
And I told you, remember? Yeah. And then you said, who is this kid? And I was like, he's just an open micer. He's, he looks very nervous. He's not very like good at what he does. And what did Bobby do? Okay, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, Ali Wong. Yeah, we were Ali about Wong this. had a girl, you know, a guy call. And I was just like, fine, I'm fine. She's like, this guy I saw, I got, I'm fine. She, you know? Yeah. So that's my point is, is that, you know, when you first start five, six years of doing stand up, it's not right, you know, but people get nervous. They might unintentionally do it, this and that. It's when you do it on a special, you know? Oh, geez, yeah. Like your one hour HBO special, and you're already an established comic, and you're stealing jokes from younger comics. That's wrong. Especially if it's a very specific joke. Yeah. But my point, though, is is that I was new. I, I'm the one that told him. He shouldn't have reacted that way. And he's so not funny. He's like one of the worst comedians I've ever seen. And I, I've been all over the world. I've done stand-up. He's the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> Damn. On Health Advice with Bobby and Kalila. This is from Anonymous. I'm 23 years old. I've been single for five years. Love and have loved this relationship I have with myself. Uh, by, I'm thinking it might be time to give a girl a chance to share something serious and intimate with. I'm currently in a cultural mind fuck. I'm Mexican American. I'd like to have kids someday and for them to speak Spanish. Currently, I'm culturally aware of my heritage and I'm grateful for it. But I'm also open to other ethnicities and cultures. I'm physically attracted to Mexican women, but I find them to be boring slash basic and too traditional and culturally conservative for me. They want hardworking men with a lot of money, and that seems to be the only interest for them. That's all women. I find them myself more <laughs> attracted to white women or other ethnicities for their open and interesting personalities. At the end of the day, I still want my future children to know Spanish. Spanish. You can't have everything. I do? This is just shit That's on a, your entire race. fucking race. You just generalize a couple women. Well, it's shitting on white dude of Oaks for not being able to learn Spanish. Like, what? If you have a white okay, wife, so you can't learn Spanish? Is what? Pelotudo de mierda. Uh, not really. Qu just. He He's really in a dilemma. A so he wants the he okay, he wants get to get the culture within his family and his kids. He wants them to know Spanish, the heritage, but he's more attracted to white women and other ethnicities because of his reasoning that it seems like all Mexican women he's met he's met are boring slash basic and too traditional Jesus. and culturally but there is a white woman out there that speaks Spanish you gotta find that girl also there's no, Mexican women there's that women are Mexican that... women that are not that oh my god I think that your world is probably Just wait, so where is he small. from Which, uh, yeah, that's, what, what, that's where, what I'm curious what, uh, yeah cause okay, there's, listen. A, there's a lot of variety in yeah. every culture so if I, uh, you come to LA I think maybe your world is a little small right now if you come to LA it's not like there that. are 50 varieties of Mexican women more than that probably you know no, like I, there are 50 varieties of white girls like there are 50 varieties of Asian women it's from basic to rocket scientists mm. and so I think that maybe you should expand your horizons a little bit more your because circles everything that you want out of a woman and if it's important to you that she is Mexican you can find a Mexican rocket scientist they're, 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 and it exists. shouldn't be important to you what race like, she is, but two exactly. of those in the world. Also, <laughs> yeah, and George is right. Like you know, if if speaking Spanish is such a, a is, is such a big deal for you, you should teach, teach your child your kids, Spanish. Yeah. Like you shouldn't. It shouldn't always. You know, it shouldn't always be the responsibility of. It could be your responsibility. Yeah. And also, yeah, I don't know He's where this person also lives, but twenty three. Yeah, many. Yeah, you have a lot of. Uh, um, and he's been single for five years. Yeah. So I, listen, I, I, I didn't meet Kalila until I was forty. Two. For, yeah. <laughs> forty two. 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 Okay. He lied on his Tinder. He said he was thirty seven. I lied to win. And he won. Mm -hmm. And I won. Uh, so anyway, what a great podcast, huh? Wait, hold on. I want you to take, I want you to have a take on this guy. I love it. Come on, say it. <laughs> I'm okay with that answer. I love I'm it. loving it, like McDonald's. I'm oh, loving um, it. Quick um, MMA recap. Papa. Gilbert. Uh, I'll start. Quick MMA. Demetrius I Johnson. Start. Thoughts. Okay. Demetrius Johnson really impressed me. His fucking uh, little arm bar thing after the slam thing was Re fucking video genius. Game. Pound for pound, the greatest. I don't know about that, but he's great. He wasn't even breathing with his mouth. And open. Ferguson is a real uh, is the guy that can beat Conor McGregor. You sure about that? Yeah. Oh, okay, hey. Connor, hey, Connor, Bobby said that you would lose to Ferguson. Any yeah. thoughts on the fight? Uh, we're going to talk MMA a quick second. Uh, so just handle it. If you can't handle it, just try your best. Three minutes. We'll three, three, three minutes, minutes and then you can. And we'll get to the other stuff. Yeah. Uh, so your thoughts on just the main event, uh, Demetrius Johnson and Ray Borg. Oh, uh, dude, Ray Borg is a fucking warrior and a really tough guy. But True, DJ but... is just 
on a different level. I don't think I've ever seen any fighter be that... He's, he's like six steps ahead of everyone else. Like even when Ray Borg had his back for a quick second and you looked at DJ's eyes and right. there was no panic, there was nothing. It was just knowledge. Oh, I know this. I'm going to shake him off and I'm going to, you know, lay on top of him. So calm. Yeah, he's just, he has got that like IQ like nobody else and the fact that his, his, um... What do you call this? He he's so in shape. Yeah. I don't know most one twenty fivers are in shape, but he's on a different level. After every round, Gilbert, did you even see him breathe heavy? No, he just it's like talking to Matt Hume casually. Yeah. Did I do this right? Did I yeah. do that wrong? Cool, let's go. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I truly do think he's pound for pound the greatest. Pound uh I don't think he needs to take another fight at one twenty five. He already broke the record. I say Who would he, he have to fight against? Henry Cejudo? I, get, I mean, he's cleared the division out mm -hmm. if you want to keep extending the streak. But mm -hmm. I think the next thing for his legacy is just go up to 135 and take TJ? that. TJ? Or TJ whoever or wins. Cody? Cody yeah. Hmm. Come that. Um, and sec the next fight, uh, I guess Ferguson, Ferguson and, and Kevin, uh, Lee. Kevin Lee. Um, I, I think either of them would beat Connor. You think you don't think either of them? No. I definitely don't think Kevin oh, Lee's no. the guy. Fucking Fer Ferguson for sure. I don't know. Bobby's a real Tony Ferguson fan. I like him too. And I think he's just he's so he is because the, the one thing I really like about Tony Ferguson is like he knows how to get he knows how to survive really bad spots and Every situations. Every fight he's always losing, then he wins. Yeah, because I that was pretty dangerous for him after the first round, or yeah. I thought like he was you know. But after the first round, looking at Kevin, I was like, he's too tired. He's yeah, dying. after well, he tried to finish but couldn't. That's a lot of like energy. And he had a staff infection too. I don't know how. Yeah, that, that was how a bad big, does that affect you? Oh, if you're you're just. Because Luke had fought on one too before. Yeah, you're just compromised. You, he's probably on antibiotics. I don't know if he was, but you just don't feel like yourself. You have a fucking infection. Mm. You know, so your stamina is going to be off. It's just uh, that was a big thing on his chest. I was worried it would explode, but thank God it didn't. Uh, cool. Yeah, I think those are really the main fights. And then we're Verdum fought <laughs> oh, a nobody. Uh, Walter uh, that was the worst that day. That, he wasn't but, the worst. But that he was, was such just a fast. He took it on like eight hour notice. That is true. Three, yeah, or like three, three hour, hour notice. Opponent change right away. Yeah, so Jiu -jitsu. I wasn't too invested in that fight. I was before when it was still Derek Lewis, but yeah, they yeah, really. Derek Lewis. He has back injury. His back I think? injury. Like Something. he woke up and he couldn't move his back. Oof. Yeah, that I don't sucks. Know that okay, we're done with our MMA minute. Done with MMA minute. Uh, George, anything on your end? Or first of all, shows for Bobby right now? Nothing. Nothing. No shows. No shows for Bobby because he's currently filming. Yeah, if you're on. BobbyLeeLive.com. Go check it out. Uh, George, anything on your end? You're making that face. Say nah, something. Nothing. Uh, shout out to Burton Guthrie, a uh, relative who actually listens to this. So. Uh, oh, uh, really? Yeah. What any, did he think? Any shout outs on your end? I, w I have a shout out. <laughs> any other shout outs? Uh, to Sarah Darboso's workmate, Rachel, who also listens. That's All so right. sweet. Okay, so there's this lady. I think her name is pronounced Lionel or Linnell. Linnell Baker. Linnell sounds good. Here, look at her. Look how cute she is. Don't show her to the camera now. I won't show her camera. Look how cute she is. Oh, man. She's a listener? Yeah, she is. I love our demographics. Very unlikely. So she looks nervous. like she's probably in her 40s. Oh, that's good. She's a beautiful black woman. <laughs> and this Has is kids. what she said. She always says what's up to me. Every time she thinks I look cute, she's always like, hey, baby, you look real cute in this week's episode. I love her. But well, you know how we had the God discussion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, I'm an atheist, blah, sure, blah, sure. blah. And, you know, she's a Christian. But this is what I like. This is how I like being approached. Yeah, I don't like when people like shove their religion down my throat. The way she does it is the sweetest. She wrote me. She says, hi, baby. I just <laughs> I love your baby I, now. <laughs> baby driver. I mean, it's so endearing. It, it makes me feel warm, warm yeah. fuzzies. Yeah. She says, hi, baby. I just had to stop and reach out to you, love. I respect your decision to be an atheist, and yet I do know and need to share that this one thing with you is that God uses whomever he chooses, even an atheist, and I see God in you. He is using you in so many ways. He sent you to Bobby, and Bobby realizes only God had the power to bless him and give him the joy he lacked all his life by wow. sending Kalila to him. God loves you. You're one of his greatest creations next to me. <laughs> and she put a lot of hearts. And She's I was like, funny. Let's get her on. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. That's really sweet. Yeah, made me feel nice inside. So shout out to her, and Another, um, what a reverse shout out for anyone. Yeah, no reverse shout outs. No this classic week. Kylo reverse. Oh, I want to thank everybody that came to the show. Oh yeah, yeah, I've named. Yeah, dude, you guys are fucking clutch. <laughs> if you came to the Friday show, that could have been an absolute disaster. You guys are the best. You are clutch, and we are forever thankful for showing up. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Eddie, the one that that Bobby interviewed. 
oh, and that's taught right. him how to finger blast me on stage. That was a kind of a funny <laughs> show, though. That huh? was a really funny show. Yeah. You guys should come out to them next Eddie, time. Eddie, I think the other girl was Charlene, the girl who had the I the don't know. podcast question. And there was another guy, I forgot his name. We guess what race he was, and he was Filipino. Filipino. Oh, I remember his name. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? I remember it. Nope, never mind. Yeah, no, I, I got re- too many names. I forgot them all. I just, yeah, but thank I, you to everyone who came out. I tried to remember everybody's names, and that just forced me to, like, my, my brain overloaded. Yeah. But I'll recognize your faces next time I see you guys. Cool. Um, I think that's all we have for this week. You can follow me in all forms of social media at Calamity K. That's K-H-A-L-A-M-I-T-Y-K. Uh, and you can follow uh, Tiger Belly on Instagram at Tiger Belly and on Twitter at the Tiger Belly. And email us any questions at the Tiger Belly at gmail.com. And if you'd like to send us any packages to our P.O. box or send Bobby some dream water that's powdered, it is 1626 North Wilcox Avenue, <laughs> number 161, Hollywood, California, 90028. Damn. Did I get it? Yeah. And then, George, if people want to, you know, get some of these products that we're talking about today, the promo codes are? Uh, yeah, we got Brooklinen, uh, uh, brooklinen.com, promo code BELLY, and, of course, ZipRecruiter. Promo code. And ZipRecruiter.com slash BELLY. Have a good one. Bye.